8. Good evening. Now breaking news. Five more people in New York State have come down with the COVID-19 virus. That brings the total number of cases in the state to 11. This illness is growing now. The governor is saying a man in his 50s, a lawyer, and his family and a neighbor have all been infected. That man is in the hospital in critical condition. His family and the neighbor are under quarantine in their home in Westchester County. 11 people in the U.S. have now died from coronavirus. There are more than 130 cases, including the 11 cases in New York. In the last few minutes, the U.S. House just passed an $8 billion bill to fight the outbreak in a bipartisan vote. But that is another one, two, three, four, five people. Uh, and again, all off this one uh, attorney, 50 year old, uh, who is the only person to date who was hospitalized because he also had a respiratory illness. And we said that is the target problematic population, right? Senior citizens, uh, immunocompromised or underlying uh, illness. Again, just moments ago, the House passed an $8 billion coronavirus funding bill. The state just passed a $40 million bill the other day. And this morning, the governor suspended SUNY and CUNY study abroad programs in five countries. 300 SUNY students attending programs in China, Italy, Japan, Iran, and South Korea are now heading home. Once they arrive, they will undergo a 14-day quarantine on SUNY property in SUNY dorms. And we'll have much more on that story at 530. And we